Recently, we moved from a house in a subdivision on the north side of Chiang Mai to a village not far outside the city. I had broken my toe that week, so that made packing extra challenging. But fortunately, we have some friends and family who helped us pack everything up before the moving truck arrived. If you want to move in Chiang Mai, there are a few different ways you can go about it. Thailand is one of the countries with the highest ratio of pickup trucks in the world, so if you've been here a while, you probably already know someone with a truck. Some people rent a song tao and pack everything in a couple of loads if they don't have too much stuff. But when you have a bigger family like we do, there are several very good moving companies in Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai Removals is very popular and has services to cover just about everything you need for domestic or international moving, storage, and other transport. We had previously used Bunma Moving and Storage, which has locations throughout Thailand, and had a good experience for a very low price, so we went ahead and used them again. Arranging the move was a breeze. I just sent them a simple Facebook message uh, to describe what we needed and when we needed to move. The quote was 7,000 baht, including loading and unloading the truck. We could have had them pack and unpack all our boxes for us, but we did that ourselves with the help of our friends. On moving day, they arrived a few minutes early. I had to meet them at the entrance of our subdivision, since our Muban charges a fee for large trucks. I think it was 500 baht, but it may have been less than that, I can't remember for sure. The truck is big enough for most moves in Chiang Mai, but since we own most of the furniture in the house, there was about five small pickup loads left over, which I did myself later in the week. But honestly, since most houses and condos come furnished or partly furnished, the size of the truck was probably good for most moves. They were very careful with everything and packed every inch of the moving truck, plus putting as much as they could in the pickup that was used to transport the crew. Our kids even got to join in on the fun and help out where they could. My toe was killing me, so I had to take it easy, limping around and answering questions and trying to make a video. Since they brought so many people, the house was packed into the trucks in less than an hour. Then we drove out to our new house. So this is the wider bridge. Uh, across the canal, which is locally known as the Klong. And so I'm going to be standing down here to try to signal them and say, hey, don't go down on the narrow bridge, come down here to the wider bridge. It also has a little more room for turning on the main road. Everything was unloaded in less than an hour as well, so altogether they arrived just before 10 and were gone just after noon. We were very happy. We can't wait for you to see our next video where we'll take you on a tour of our old four-bedroom house that's in a prime location in Chiang Mai where we lived for almost two years for only $450 per month.